All right, welcome. Students, we're done. I would have been a lot more excited than that, but whatever. Um, we are thrilled that you're here with us to celebrate the end of our school year. It's an exciting time for us. We're finishing the year with our largest student body ever. We're going to graduate one of our largest classes ever tomorrow and celebrate all the accomplishments that they've made uh, under God's blessings here at ALA. And so tonight is just really a way to culminate what has been an awesome year for us. And uh, we're thankful for all the parents and grandparents and all, your, all the friends who have sacrificed, especially for our seniors, and they've made an ALA education possible. Uh, it, it's, it's a great thing to watch your sons and daughters walk across the stage. My three have done it in the last few years, and uh, it's awesome to know that they're ready for their future. So thank you for all the things that you've done as our ALA family. Uh, just one thing to note tonight, and that is that uh, we are, this summer, we're going to re be replacing all of the lights in the ceiling, and you might have heard about this before if you've been at different events. And uh, the cost is pretty extensive, but because of our generosity of our gala donors, where we raised over $75,000 for the project, the offerings that many of you have given at past concerts this year, generous offerings by individual people, we're down to less than $15,000 left to raise for the project as we get, because it's going to be about $150,000. And so we are so thankful for all of you who've helped out tonight or throughout the year. If you want to make a gift tonight, there are baskets by the doors on your way out. You can throw something in there, and that offering will go to hoping to get us that last $15,000 so that we can get these done debt free when we get to uh, the the beginning of July, and it'll be really exciting. I know that most of the time you probably don't notice if they don't work, but like at the gala, there was one that was supposed to be working and it was pointing at the back wall. So uh, we know that there was nothing to illuminate there. So we are thankful that God has given us the opportunity to, to really make a difference in our performance space. So again, thank you for being here tonight and just enjoy all the work that our kids have put in. Let's have a great night. Oh, 
Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing breeze.
delicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. In violence wise, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look and my temper and my look, I always yearn to be a concert pianist. I'd rather be called deadly so my killers show too medley Thank you, cause way down deep inside I've got a dream I'm a lover, not a fighter Cause way down deep inside I've got a dream I've got a dream I've got a dream I've got a dream, got a dream. Got a dream. Got a dream. And I know one day romance will reign supreme So my baby people screaming There's a child behind me screaming Like everybody else I've got a dream Surrounded by enormous piles of money
living in a blur all that time never truly seeing things the way they
I'm trying to hold my breath and let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me, getting loud now. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand, will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you, all the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be. of gold are still too little these hands could hold the world but it'll never be enough never be enough for me never 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 in spotlights all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough never be enough towers of gold are still too little these hands could hold the world but it'll never be enough never be enough Never enough, never, never enough, 
Good evening, everybody. It's good to have you here tonight, and it's at this time of year that we like to take a moment to do a few acknowledgments of things, especially people that have served here over the time, and I uh, want to say thank you to them in one way or another. And so first, I'd like to acknowledge those who are celebrating an anniversary this year of serving in the ministry, not necessarily just here at ALA, but someplace in our church's ministry that is celebrating a multiple of five. So a real quick acknowledgement to our director tonight, Mr. Severi, between California and Arizona, has served five years in the ministry. <laughs> Not here this evening is Mr. Elisa, who served 10 years, both in Colorado and in here. He is not here tonight because, as maybe you know, he's home tending a new baby less than one month old. We also have Mrs. Sam Samantha List, who is celebrating her 15th year in the ministry between Arizona, Wisconsin, back to Arizona, and also Mrs. Lynette Stammen, her 15th year between Wisconsin and Arizona. And far outshining them all, Mr. Meyer, who is celebrating his 30th year in the ministry. And then there are those who are celebrating time here at ALA, also in multiples of five. Mr. Wickman, his fifth year here. And Mr. Meyer, all 30 years have been here at ALA. We also have a young teacher who has pursued her master's degree and earned a Master of Arts degree in history with an emphasis in education from Grand Canyon University. Congratulate with me, Ms. Jade St. Germain. And then we said goodbye to him two years ago, but then he came back. Mr. Steiner was a math teacher here for many years from the early 2000s. He retired in 2021 and thought he was going to be gone for good. And we had a need that opened up this past December. And so we asked him if he would come back for a semester. He did that. And so we're going to give him a very quiet goodbye and thank you, Mark, for being back here again. We do have a teacher departing also at the close of this year, Miss Jenny Peterson. She joined us just this past year to teach us in the science and STEM courses of our curriculum. She was born in Texas as a very young child, moved with her sisters and family back to Michigan, where she really calls home and grew up. But she is a wanderer. And she did a lot of traveling. I think you might be impressed by this. I have them, I believe, in the order in which she traveled. She's still connected to Czech Republic, and every year goes at least once over there to run vacation Bible school programs and led a group of five of our students, I think it was five, over there uh, over spring break, or Easter break, rather, as well. She served as an au pair in Germany for a while, and from that point was able to travel most of the continent. Are you impressed yet? We're not done. And there. That's worth a round of applause, probably, just to make it to all those countries. But what makes it easier for the traveling Miss Peterson to be that is that she's also the linguistic Miss Peterson. I don't know if she'd say she's fluent necessarily, but she's got facility in all these languages. And if you know anything about those languages, you would know that they don't all use the Latin alphabet, the one that we use here. They use other writing systems as well, which means she's, I guess, comfortable in these different alphabets or writing systems. 
And some of you maybe know, kids I know know about Duolingo. She's a world champion Duolingo player, which is based on language as well. But I was able to find one last tidbit about Miss Peterson. You know when she discovered she was actually able to speak all of these languages? Was when this happened. Well, maybe they weren't exact languages there, but. Unfortunately, Ms. Peterson is not able to be here with us tonight, but in her absence, would you join me in thanking her for a year of service at our school? But the highlight of our night tonight is to honor a long-serving member of our staff here at ALA, Mrs. Rebecca Yanig, who has been our office manager, administrative assistant, and many other roles over the years since 2020, 23 years that she has served here and has decided now she's going to retire. So I'd like to share with you tonight the Becky that I know. The Becky that I know is a daughter and a sister. She was born in Milwaukee, but at a fairly young age, she and her family moved to New Ulm, Minnesota, where she would live really the rest of her growing up years. Her dad was a professor at Dr. Martin Luther College, now called Martin Luther College, MLC. And this is where she did her grade school, her high school, her college years. She grew up in a time like many of us did when things were simpler, right? Can anybody connect with things like this? when all the restrictions and rules were not in place. The Becky that I know is a teacher, but I have to tell you that this was not her first career choice. She thought about a job in finance. <laughs> when this happened, though, she decided to go elsewhere, went to MLC, DMLC, and trained to be a teacher, and she was assigned to teach at Pilgrim Lutheran School right here in Mesa. After a while, she and her family moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she taught at Shepherd Lutheran School there. Eventually, they moved back to the valley, and she went back to Pilgrim as well. Becky was an okay teacher. In some classes, she was actually good. In things like reading and the language arts, she pursued a master's degree at her principal's direction because the principals that she worked under were having problems when she taught classes like social studies. But the biggest thing about her teaching years, ladies and gentlemen, is that while she was at Pilgrim, she met a young man named Dan. And they fell in love. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I must have the wrong picture up there. Dan. I guess that is you. What happened to all that hair on the top of your head? The Becky that I know, then, is a mom, a wife, and a grandmother. She had, with Dan, two children named Jana and Nathan. They have spouses and children, and so it creates a fairly nice Thanksgiving table when they all gather together. But I want to let you know that Becky's a fairly picky mother and grandmother, and so some of the things she talks about when she's at the office include this. And this. The Becky that I know is a colleague here at ALA and has been for my entire ministry at this place. Becky is really the reason why so many of our things look very professional. Our documents, our graphic arts, our procedures, events like tomorrow's graduation, for example, really are all her doing. It's got her handiwork all over it. Becky's also very generous. Last year on my birthday, she gave me a coupon book. And I have one left. It's, it said, I get one full day of being the boss of everyone. So that was very generous. Although it says it can be used only on a day when there are lots of problems to figure out. And we haven't had such a day at ALA all year long. So, very generous. But this picture is a little deceiving. It looks like Becky's happy and 
free most of the time, but she's not. Becky, <laughs> Becky is a linguist and really loves, and I respect this about her, loves the English language, and she really wants to have things looking just right, but then it puzzles her when there are problems like that. Whoops, like that. Now I can't go back. This doesn't allow me to go backwards. We're going to skip past that one. <laughs> the Becky that I know is older than I am. <laughs> Always has been. <laughs> A lot older. But she and I share some experiences, and I bet you some of you do too. Remember the good old days? But Becky, you know, as you get older, there are things you're going to have to do to accommodate. Dan and Becky are big classic rock fans, and so you can probably guess that this fits them. And Becky, even the simplest of tasks as you get older and older will become a challenge. The Becky that I know is now a retiree. And she's begun to plan what she will do in retirement. She's thought about hobbies. <laughs> and in order to prolong her golden years, She's found a way to extend time. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the Becky that I know, I'm proud to call my friend and my colleague. And so it is with my deepest appreciation that I'm proud to call her up here and give her my congratulations on her time served and looking forward to retirement. And really, a thank you, Becky, for all that you've done. Will you join me in giving her a round of applause? Most of that was not true. I never worked at a bank. <laughs> well, I was told to keep this short, so I will. Uh, thanks to my family and my sister for being here tonight. Um, I'd love to talk about memories and, and everything else. I've been in Arizona from the time ALA started. Um, I figured out that I've worked here for half the time ALA's been in existence, which is kind of neat. <laughs> and, um, you know, a little over... Now, don't do the math here. A little over a third of my life, I have worked here. Um, and I've had the privilege of working alongside amazingly talented administrators, three of them, three principals, teachers, um, staff members, co-workers, office workers, um, all of you, both past and current, um, and hundreds of, of parents and students that have passed through these doors. I'm just so fortunate. I could, I, I, like I said, I would love to go through all these memories and everything from all this time here, but you know, it's time to look forward. We know that God holds the future for me, for the seniors graduating tomorrow for ALA. And there is no doubt that God will continue to bless this ministry. To him be the glory. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. I would like to present to you a, a small token of our appreciation that you can use as you like as you enter this new phase of life. And I'm also proud to present you this coupon for one full day of being the boss of everyone. It becomes effective on July 1st. Congratulations. Thank
I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, I have been changed for good. It well may be that we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now, whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind off the sea. Like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share, and none of it seems to matter anymore. Like a comet pulled from a as it passes a by a wind of the like a stream sea. that meets a boulder halfway in the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, because I knew you.
protection, or as wet as a warthog's backside. Caught on a
the alumni are going forward right now, I want to remind you that we have a little reception in honor of Becky Yanig out on the plaza under the lights as soon as the concert is over. And on your way out there, if you want to stop and see some of the art fair projects that are in the lobby as well, you're welcome to do that. So please stop to, at the reception in honor of Becky after the concert.